racism in St. Louis is extreme and it's a really big issue. I recently have been racially profiled by policemen, so I try to have a positive attitude because unlike most of my other black youth, you know, I am with God. And I feel like with God, you have to see things in his way more than just trying to, you know, shuffle through racism in a way where, you know, you're just doing it on your own. It's been really, really great and insightful. It opens your mind, opens your eyes into how others feel and how other people view things and go through. It changed my perspective in people. Like, I never thought that I would be really in the place talking about racism. Being a bridge builder is more than just an individual attempt to try and eradicate these issues or solve them. It's more about creating meaningful connections and relationships with people that will help you understand where they're coming from, where you're coming from, the foundations of our world and how we can effectively push past this. So Bridge Builders is a space for me where we get free, where uh, you know we walk with each other into freedom. And so every conversation that I have to prepare for camp, when I'm at camp, I feel more and more liberated. I knew I was privileged and I knew like there were privileges I don't have but, and I do have. And just knowing that how to use those privileges that I do have for the betterment of society was really like inspiring for me. We're giving them the opportunity to come up here and, and dialogue about one of the biggest issues that is d dividing our community in America. I've experienced God by talking to multiple people. I've seen God in those people and what they've shared and how they've, you know, how we've discussed and talked and became friends. As a bridge voter, you can um, build bridges between different races and ethnicities and you just have to use your leadership skills that we're learning here and do it. Building love, building something that people around the world needs to see. When you speak out and then people actually listen to you, it's a completely different feeling from having somebody be like, oh yeah, that's a lie. No, you haven't been through that. People actually listen, they actually care. And for me, if we could have more of that, I think a lot, of, a lot more people could understand and know how to just, and we could just like help them, teach them how to um, react to something like that. A strong sense of community is, I think, key to being a bridge builder. Bridges are built for the betterment of everyone, and that's what it means to be a bridge builder. If you start a bridge with one person, that could help both of those, that person's group and your group, build bigger bridges that can like connect like a lot of people. And I think this starts there, starts small and you build up. My aha moment was really during the um, privilege walk. It's painful but it, it just creates a whole lot of powerful conversation. You know, it, it's an object lesson. It's one thing to tell somebody about oppression, but it's another thing to give them a visionary or a visual of what oppression and white privilege looks like. Every time I moved back, I felt a little stronger. I didn't feel weak because of it. I felt strong because I knew I passed it, and, I, and now I'm here today. I experienced God by campers. Hearing their, their faith stories and how they found God makes me believe and affirm that God exists and God is with us and all of us. I think the coolest part is having them come from all different communities and being able to form a safe community in this place here. The relationships that they build in the matter of five or six days has been amazing to see. I think the idea of Introducing like institutional racism was definitely one of those aha moments, as well as whenever we discussed like Macklemore's white privilege song, and some of the leaders reflected that whenever he or say Eminem were to say something in their music, it doesn't reflect back on the white community. And that was one of those moments where I've just never had to be exposed to that. But this is like preparing you, giving you all of the tools that you will need to succeed and it just gives you those early and now you can just go forth with new knowledge. And I think Bridge of Buddhist is just like an amazing place to get new knowledge to go out to go forth and be a leader. 
And with racism, um, it being a big issue in the world, I feel like it needs to be addressed more. And I feel like everyone here has, you know, the potential to change that. And that's been something that's been on my heart heavily lately. And being able to come here and see that there's a whole bunch of people who are concerned about it too. And a lot of people who are, who just have like a strong, you know, feeling with being able to unite people. I feel like that was amazing being able to have a unison with people like that. <laughs>